I love peanut butter. And I think most of you guys do as well. Most people love peanut butter. But unfortunately, peanut butter does not love us. Or it does love us, it just doesn't love our abs or respect our diet goals. So basically what I'm saying is it's really hard or impossible to eat the amount of peanut butter that I want to eat whilst I'm in prep or when I'm not in prep or just ever because I want to eat like a lot of peanut butter. So because of that I wanted to create a low calorie peanut butter sauce or dressing to enjoy myself and to share with the lovely people on YouTube. But then I thought, why stop there? Peanut butter sauce is easy. Powdered peanut butter, PB2 and water, done. So I thought, how about a Thai peanut butter sauce? Something very peanut buttery still, but with a hint of spice and that little bit of sweetness in there, just to complement the salty. But again, why stop there? We need something to put the sauce on. So now, what do you often dip in peanut butter sauce? Chicken satay, obviously. And yeah, chicken satay isn't exactly high in calorie. Chicken breast, nearly pure protein. What's the problem? No recipe needed. But why stop there? You know, we can add some volume to it, can't we guys? Why have two chicken satays when you can have, I don't know, six? So in today's recipe video, we are gonna be making six chicken satay skewers in a delicious peanut butter sauce. It's going to be low calorie, high volume, sweet, salty, peanut buttery, with a little hint of spice in there. Not to blow my own horn, but it's gonna be amazing. So with that in mind, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and then we can get onto the ingredients you're gonna need to make these revolutionary kebabs. And before we get into the ingredients, just a quick reminder that if you are serious about making some change, you really want to commit and achieve your goals, but you might need a little bit of help and support along the way, hit that top link in my bio. You can get directly in contact with me and you can find out all about my online coaching. Now, let's look at what you're going to need. First up, you're going to need something to put the satay on. Something pointy and made of wood, preferably. Like these wooden pointy skewers. We're gonna need six of them. And by the way, these are more expensive than I thought, like two pounds, what? Then you're gonna need some chicken breast. Use as much or as little as you like, but today I'm gonna to be using 200 grams worth. To volumize these chicken breast skewers, we are gonna be using 250 grams of cauliflower florets. Yes, we are doing this. And notice this is fresh cauliflower today, not frozen. Make sure you get fresh. It's a rarity on the channel. So those are the actual things going on our pointy wooden sticks, but now we need the ingredients that are gonna make our beautiful sauce to make these into insanely delicious Thai peanut buttery skewers. And that is gonna be extremely easy. So low calorie peanut butter sauce, I am sure you saw this first ingredient coming a mile away, but the first ingredient is gonna be peanut butter. Just kidding, you wish. It's gonna be powdered peanut butter. I'm using PB2, use whichever one you want, but there is way less fat, way less calories in this, and it tastes about 80% as good, and that, that works for me. Mixing in with our powdered peanut butter is gonna be some zero calorie maple syrup. I'm using the Skinny Food Co's, as always. We're gonna put some soy sauce in there. I've got reduced sodium, yours doesn't need to be. A little bit of sriracha sauce if you want those slightly subtle sweet spicy undertones and then you're just going to want some water just to make it the right texture consistency all that jazz all of these little extras that we're mixing into the powdered peanut butter are pretty much zero calorie so you really don't need to worry about the amounts too much taste it as you go along and add it as required as you want it to taste but i will give you some indication of the amounts that i personally use when we get into the recipe part of the video as always you will find a full list of the ingredients and the quantities you need in the description box below along with some links that take you to the ones that i use and personally recommend those links directly support me so if you do need to grab yourself some pb2 for example make sure to use that link because it directly supports me and i appreciate it now i think i've spoken for more than long enough and all this talk of peanut butter is beginning to wet more than just my appetite let me tell you that so with that in mind it's probably time to get to the recipe 
Alright guys, for today's recipe, I'm going to be using an air fryer, but please believe me when I say that you don't need to use one. I will tell you how to make the exact same thing in an oven if that's all you have. So if you can make it in an oven, why am I using an air fryer? Well, because that's what YouTubers do, isn't it? All the other YouTubers are using air fryers, so I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon. Maybe I can finally start making some YouTube money, you never know. But anyway, I digress. Let's make some Thai peanut butter, chicken, cauliflower, skewers. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I cannot wait for you to see this recipe because it is absolutely awesome. Start off by getting your air fryer or your oven preheating to 180 degrees and then we start the prep. Chop up your cauliflower into florets because the stem does not belong in this recipe. It belongs in the bin just like anybody who eats it. You're going to want florets which are roughly an inch or so big and then you're going to do the same thing with your chicken breast, cutting it into bite sized chunks of a similar size. Now we just need to prepare the sauce, so grab yourself a big bowl and add 24 grams of powdered peanut butter, followed by the other ingredients to taste. I used roughly 15 grams of maple syrup, around 5 grams of soy sauce, around 5 grams of sriracha and about 40 grams of water. But that's just me, you do you. Mix them all together and get a nice consistency whilst taste testing as you go. Don't be lazing here because getting that perfect sauce will give you the perfect peanut butter skewers. Now our chunks of meat and cauliflower are ready to go and so is the sauce so we just need to combine. Put the chicken and the cauliflower into the bowl of sauce and then toss around or preferably really get in there with your hands unless you're a girl like me and then make sure every last chunk is fully coated with your sauce. Feel free to let them marinate in the sauce for a little bit, but I don't really know if that makes a difference or not, to be honest. Now we're nearly there. Give your air fryer a quick spray of cooking oil. Place the coated chicken and cauliflower inside and then allow it to fry for 10 to 15 minutes. Check on it every five minutes or so to give it a good shake around and ensure the cauliflower isn't burning. And then just continue until the chicken and cauliflower is roasted. If you're not using an oven, then instead just line a large baking sheet with parchment paper, spread your chicken and cauliflower evenly over the baking tray, bake it for 10 minutes, then flip everything onto the other side and bake again until it's cooked through. Easy. Once those pieces are cooked and you're happy with how everything is looking, grab your wooden skewers and begin skewing, then serve alongside any leftover sauce. And there we go guys, Thai peanut butter, chicken and cauliflower skewers. Holy shit, these look and smell good. I am, I'm impressed. As promised, we have got six big old skewers, absolutely bursting with flavor, begging to be eaten. So of course, time for a taste test. Mm. That is amazing. That peanut butter sauce, the maple, it, the maple just hits. It's got that initial taste of peanut butter, but then the undertones of that spice and the sweet and the salty just... And remember, that was just a dry taste test. If you have got some leftover sauce, make sure to drizzle it over the top and it will be even better. And I know this is the time where some of you are going to start judging me, but... Maple syrup on top of peanut butter skewers. Guys. Mm. Guys. Just trust me. Do it. Trust me. I know I'm really deep into prep right now and I do weird stuff with food. But that is amazing. So not only are those Thai peanut butter, chicken and cauliflower skewers absolutely delicious, but the macros and the calories are also incredible. All six of the skewers, you are literally looking at just 407 calories. So only 68 calories a piece. And that is a massive 62 grams of protein, 20 grams of carbs and just seven grams of fat.
incredible. This is also a really extremely versatile recipe as well. You can make a completely different meal just by using a barbecue sauce, a ranch sauce, a buffalo sauce, whatever you fancy you can put on these skewers. You can also just completely ditch the skewers and throw them in some wraps, a pit of bread, you could make it into a salad. There are genuinely just infinite possibilities guys. So absolutely make sure you try this recipe out, whether you've got an air fryer, whether you've got an oven, whatever the case, just do it. Remember that if you are serious about making some change, you just need some guidance and a little push in the right direction, click that top link in the description. You can contact me there directly for information on my online coaching and we can work together to get you where you want to be. Subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week, every Tuesday at 7 p.m. So join the team and be there. It's a good time. Don't miss out. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It is always appreciated. And until the next one, see you later, guys.